I'm San Antonio Police Chief William McManus. November 20th was a dark and tragic day for the San Antonio Police Department and our community. Join us now as we commemorate Detective Benjamin Marconi. Sunday, November the 20th, Ben Marconi was shot here in front of the public safety headquarters. We heard over the radio another officer put out that there was an officer down in front of public safety headquarters. And when I heard it on the police radio, I was in total disbelief. He was doing his job. He was doing an off-duty job. He wasn't working for his normal unit, special victims unit. We all rushed down, and sure enough, uh, one of our detectives had been shot. He was pulling over a car, and he was doing a normal, routine thing when an unroutine thing happened. Being a homicide detective, we're used to dealing with death on a daily basis, but you never expect it to be one of your own. A lot of the community started immediately to bring things downtown, and they set up a, a memorial. It grew and it grew. They had people from command staff, people from different parts of the station to receive people coming in. They had people that brought in uh, a banner, something to write on, because people wanted to express their thoughts. And the officers thought that was uh, very cool. Whenever you experience a loss of an officer, it's always tragic and impactful. And, you know, we, we take it very hard as an organization. The fact that it, it basically happened on our own front doorstep, um, I think it really personalized it even that much more to the entire department. It was devastating. Um, it's one of those things you just, it takes a while to sink in. The environment inside SBU was, of course, a shock, but it's also some wonderment about why. What, is, what does this mean? Why did this have to happen that way? Um, you know, whether you're close to someone or not, when you're in this profession, you know, it's like, it's like your children. You can, you can go years without seeing them, but it doesn't change how close you are to someone. So we're all a family here. When I'm asked what words to think about Ben and how to describe him, a bunch of them come in the stream of consciousness. I think of dependable, strong, worthy. I think of honor. Ben was one of the most solid individuals you'd ever meet. Always squared away, always on top of his game. One moment, Ben was cracking jokes and and being all funny and the next minute Ben was real quiet, real to himself, real serious. He raised a great family, he was a great friend to everybody. Always try to be fair whether you're a victim or or a suspect accused of a crime. He had applied professionalism and compassion to everybody. We have his picture still on the wall with him and his grandson. Even Ben was a little boy in a play. So it's like he is still there. I think the best way that I remember and honor Ben is stories to keep his memory alive. It will not take much to um, remind me of Ben because he's still here and his essence is still here. Um, I realize that it's been a year already that he was taken from us, but um, he had an effect on all of us. Ben has never been forgotten. I know it's said all the time when people lose loved ones, but uh, you can't turn a corner in our office without seeing a picture of Ben. 
or a chair dedicated to Ben or Ben's grandchildren. Uh, so, you know, a, a year from that, that day, uh, he's still in, in our lives con continuously. And, and even in the wake of the terrible tragedy that, that happened to, to our detective, Ben Marconi, that we are a resilient department and we can bounce back from anything. And we've bounced back from that. We never forget, but we've bounced back from that and, and we continue to do our work with the community.